Good morning friends, my name is Ted and it's great to join you for morning prayer here in the prayer workshop. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so before we do anything else, let's pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence as revealed in your word, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. If you haven't read today's readings yet, then now is an excellent time to do so. Go on, take all the time you need. We'll be here when you get back. Our verse for today comes from our first lesson, 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verse 13. And when he prayed to him, the Lord was moved by his entreaty and listened to his plea. So he brought him back to Jerusalem and to his kingdom. Then Manasseh knew that the Lord is God. Let's pray. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In our passage from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, the Apostle is making a small break in his preaching to tell his audience that he is not telling them anything they do not already know. This is perfectly understandable if we recognise that this letter is a sort of fundraising appeal for his missionary work. The Apostle wants to get on and start planting the Gospel in places where Christ is not known, and so he gives the church in Rome a rundown on what his theology is, so that they will feel comfortable in supporting him financially. The fact that we have this fundraising appeal as part of inspired scripture can teach us something important. God wants us to keep being reminded of certain eternal truths. Reading through the story of King Manasseh can feel a bit samey, and so perhaps this principle of needing a reminder applies here too. A godly king dies, an evil king succeeds him, the evil king falls into the darkness he has prepared for himself, repents of his evil, and finds favour and forgiveness with God as a result. There is no need to go over the specifics of Manasseh's crimes. We have heard about them plenty enough already. But his biography here in Chronicles reminds us of something even more important. That if we find ourselves in distress and seek the favour of the Lord our God, humbling ourselves greatly before the God of our fathers, the Lord listens. More than that, the Lord was moved. How tightly do you find yourself racked by the pain of sin remembered? How comforting is it to know that the Lord, from whom we ask forgiveness, is moved by our pain? Jesus is God incarnate, having taken on a human nature, so that God himself knows exactly what it is like to suffer. God is with us. God knows us perfectly, God is moved by our distress, God loves us perfectly. Let's pray. Lord, this work of kingdom building is not easy. When I stumble off the path, hear my cry of distress, and pull me back up into your loving embrace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thanks for joining me today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow, and in the meantime... May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen.